Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to soften skin. When retouching portraits, it's important that the skin is smooth and blemish-free, but it's also important that it looks realistic. There are a lot of different techniques out there to smooth or soften skin, but a lot of them leave the skin looking plasticky or artificial. I'm going to show you a technique that smooths the skin, but also leaves the texture looking realistic. This demonstration is going to use some techniques like blending modes and masks. If you're not familiar with these techniques, you might want to look at some of our earlier tutorials on Beer Ideas YouTube channel. Let's look at this portrait now. As you can see, I have addressed some of the small blemishes on her face, and this was just to speed up the demo. But this is a very important step because when you are doing skin softening, if you don't have the blemishes removed, they may be exaggerated with the steps that we're going to be doing next. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is grab our background and drag it down to our new layer icon. And as you can see, that quickly makes a copy of our background layer. The next thing that we need to do is go up to Filter, Blur, and then Surface Blur. There are a couple different options, including Radius and Threshold. You can play with these, but you just want to make sure that the skin looks smooth, but you still have detail. I'm going to select OK. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out at full frame. And as you can see, the surface blur has been applied to the entire photo. However, we really just want the surface blur to be applied to the skin. So I'm gonna create a mask which will conceal the surface blur, and then we'll use a paintbrush just to reveal that in the skin areas. So the first thing that we need to do is go down to our masks, and I'm gonna hold Option or Alt on a PC while clicking the mask. And as you can see, that fills the mask in with black, which is going to conceal the surface blur that we did apply to that layer. The next step is to go up and grab our brush and then make sure that we have the white brush selected. And now we're going to go into the photo and we're going to paint back some of that surface blur. Now I'm just going to go in and just sort of go over the entire face, but we're going to go back later with a black brush and we're going to uh, conceal some of the surface blur, which is going to bring back some of that detail. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to make sure that I have black selected. And I'm going to go into these uh, areas like the eyes and the mouth and the uh, eyebrows. And I'm just going to conceal these areas, which is just going to hide the surface blur. And I think that looks pretty good right there. The next step is to make a duplicate of this layer. So I'm just going to drag and drop the layer down to my new layer icon. Now we need to take our first layer and we're going to do a blending mode change. But first I'm going to change the name of the file to lighten just so I know which layer is which. So to this layer, we're going to apply a blending mode of lighten. The next one I'm going to label darken. And we're going to apply a darken blend mode to this layer. Now we're going to hide the darken layer and make sure that we have our lighten layer selected. And I'm going to hit Command L or Control L on a PC to bring up our levels. And I'm just going to zoom in a little tighter. And as you can see, we do have some of these white little lines. I'm going to bring the midtone slider to the left just to lighten some of those light lines. And I think that looks good right about there. Now I'm going to hide our lighten layer and show our darken layer and make sure that I have it selected. And I'm going to do the same command, Command L or Control L on a PC. And this time we're going to take our midtones to the right hand side. Again, you can see some of those small little lines here, but by pushing some of the darkness in, I'm going to darken where the fine lines are. And I think that looks good. So I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to show all the layers and my preference when I do have a darken and lighten layer is to take my opacity on the darkened layer to about 20 to 30 percent and on the lightened layer I like to go to 30 to 40 percent. Now I'm going to highlight the darken and the lighten layer and from my sub menu I'm going to choose new group from layers and I'm just going to select OK. And as you can see, that's grouped our darken and lighten layer into a folder called group one. And I'm just going to preview before and after. 
As you can see, we've really smoothed out the skin, but we still retain some of the texture. Again, before and after. I think that looks nice. So the next step that I'm going to do is go to our submenu and just choose flatten image. This image is ready now to be saved and uploaded to Veer. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.